Hello everybody, it's my Tiana and I am back and in today's video I am back with my overdue hairstyle from Togo. So I did get this hairstyle done this past summer when I went to Togo. So yes, the hair has been in for like about four months now. Literally I have a, one of my co-workers who saw me the other day and she said, girl, you still have those braids in. I know you're about to wear it until the wheels fall off. That's exactly what I did. When I was gonna head to Togo, I planned to get my hair braided. I looked at some style, I knew what I wanted, and I found some pictures, and then when I got there, I showed her like several pictures, and I put a little twist in it, and I ended up with this. I was hoping to get some hair uh, a little longer, but once I got there, my sister has some twists. They looked so beautiful, and I wanted the exact same twist that she had, and the hair that she had because it just looked so good so this is the hair that she had um on her it looks just a tad bit longer but for me my wider face my wider body it tended to look a little short like a bob this is uh, actually about the length of my hair it feels like it is actually the length of my hair so when i'm ready to take it out i will literally have to take my time and then twist it from the bottom up. I can't cheat by cutting like how we usually do. I will have to really take my time and take it out, which I will be taking it out uh, this coming weekend. Because literally, my hair grew. It grew so much, like, it's embarrassing. But the style state, it is still nice. It is still nice, and I love it very much. I believe that she did a really good job. It got old with like very minimal frizz. The only thing is the hair literally just grew. And I'm coming to this video this late, but I will show you pictures of the day that I was getting it done. And when it was fresh, I didn't take like actual picture of it being fresh. Just wanted to enjoy my hair. I did get my own hair twisted and I wore it during the time that I was there and I also wore it uh, to my sister's traditional wedding and then everybody was like your hair just looks so nice you can leave with a hair like that but I was there for like about about one month I would worn the hair so my entire time being there so I felt like I already took a little bit half the life out of the hair so I wanted something fresh and to do this so to do this she used some type of hair called Nina I believe the hair is called Nina um, I'm not remembering but I did take a video and I will post it in this video and share it with you guys she didn't cut it she didn't do anything so she literally started by braiding the hair and then when she got to the tip she just twisted it Right before she wanted to braid my hair, I did kind of ask her if she wanted me to blow dry my hair, and she did say no. She said she didn't need to blow dry my hair. My hair was perfectly fine the way it is. And then speaking of blow drying the hair, I noticed that, you know, for somebody that stayed on Instagram, on YouTube, I remember maybe not so much this year, but last year there was like a big thing about braiders wanting their hair, uh, Braiders wanted their client's hair to be like blow dry properly before coming to them or some braiders were like they don't do 4C hair. But when I went to Toga, it was actually the complete opposite. Like the first hairstyle that I did, the girl that did the hair, 
She didn't even ask me to blow dry the hair. She just wanted the hair uh, combed properly. So I wash condition my hair and use my uh, uh, and use my African Nomad Butter from Sahel Cosmetic, which I did a video on this, and it was fine. She didn't use any other products. Um, and it was good getting my hair braided without like excessive like gels or jams or all that stuff. However, I showed up with my hair. They just braided my hair and that was it. They just added the braiding hair for this style. But for the first style, it was just my own hair. Um, so it was uh, when she said she didn't need my hair to be blow dry, I was like, okay, fine, let's just get started. It was just a good, different feel because I felt like, you know, my hair is just fine the way it is. I can just sit in somebody's chair and they can just braid my hair without your hair is too coarse, your hair is too tight, I need it softer. I did tell her because of traction alopecia, I do not pull on my hair tight and she did listen. So my edges are like intact. So I'm going to get up and close and show you this guy, but the hair is like so old, but everything is still intact. So I was really happy with this hair. Um, it felt really good to go to Togo and get my hair done. Of course, the price was like less, way less than here. She does my sister's hair all the time. And because of the work that she did on my sister's hair, I was encouraged to get my hair done. So, I did say that once I come back to the U.S., I'll make a video, I'll show it, I'll take pictures. But when I came back, I got back in the midst of things. I never got a chance to do all of that. So the hair is old, so I'm just going to proceed by showing you guys. The thing is, there's a braid in the middle, and the rest is like braided. I really love this style. Maybe if I go to Togo again, I might not do this one. And then I'll do the same thing, but just a little longer for a different look. That's what I wanted, but I ended up with a shorter look, which I'm very pleased with. This hair and I have washed it like several times I hope I you know I want to make sure I mentioned that that this hair has been washed like several times I have at least washed it a minimum of once a month and a maximum of twice a month depending on how I feel so it has been like washed and um, condition I really don't use conditioner all the time but I will use like a liquid leave-in conditioner to avoid buildup. So all in all, this hair has been a success. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Leave all questions and comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video.